Okay, so uh, I found another little place for you to uh, wine and dine in. Well, I don't know about wine, but you can uh, you can have a nice coffee. This is a what they call a meeting place in uh, in Balinese, and you'll see over the the other side there. There's a sign in uh, Balinese, meaning um, I think it's called Prior Coffee. Coffee and coffee in Indonesian is spelled. K O P I, copy, not C O double F double E like we do in uh, in Australia. And up here we have a a sign so you know where you where you're going. It's not for. It's right next door to um, what do they call that place? Um, I can't think of the name, but I'll put it on the screen later. Um, oh yeah, Populous Market, Populous Food Market on Hayam Waruk, so you can't miss it. Look for it on uh, on um, Google Maps, so you'll be right there. Okay, so uh, let's go inside and have a look around, see what's, uh, see what's occurring. Okay, so we'll head over to the counter now and see what, uh, see what they've got in store. They have got a cappuccino machine and uh, a bit of tea here. I think this is tea and uh, they sell alcohol here, beer, and, and I think probably Indonesian or Balinese spirits, I don't know. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll take one of these menus and I'll go inside in the air conditioning room where it's, uh, it's a lot quieter. This music's going to blow it out of proportion. So I'll just have a look up here. This is uh, one area where you can sit and enjoy your coffee. As in most places in Indonesia, they've got to have the music full blast, like the mufflers on their motorbikes. Anyway, we'll come in here now and set up here in here. Fella doing his homework here. And... Okay, so we'll set up here and away we go. So we'll go through the menu here, have a look around. You've got snacks here, you've got chicken schnitzel, chicken steak, cordon bleu, lullapan, I am grandon, whatever that is, nasi goreng, I am grandon, you have pasta, you have me, which is noodles. You got some quick snacks here, roti bakar, which is firstly toast, I don't know what you have on it. Um, Roti Bacar green tea, that's unusual. Choco crunchy, they put chocolate on just about everything you get. Um, Keju susu. Well, I think that's just um, like cheese spread. Uh, sausage I am, nuggets. These are little mi mixed snacks. Uh, kentang. Or kentang. Goring, which is fried French fries. What else we got? Waffles, pancakes, coffee. You got espresso, avogato, whatever that is. Uh, Americano, picciolo, piccolo, picciolo. I suppose it is. Cappuccino, latte, matcha, S coffee susu, there's that word again, coffee, K-O-P-I, susu, susu means milk. Vietnam drip coffee, which is quite very popular in Vietnam. And you've got iced tea, lemon tea, black currant tea, lighty tea, red velvet. So, you know, it's not a bad little menu. You've got beer, beer's pretty expensive. You know, I will be a singer raja and be a poster and about $2.50 Australian. Prost is also $25, it's two, about $2.50. Bintang is $35, and that's just for the 300 ml bottle, so that's pretty expensive. And Guinness and Smooth is $35 again, so it's $3.50. You get a packet of, packet of beer, let's have a look at Bintang. Four Bintangs, the 330 ml Bintangs, $120, so it's $12. That's $3 each, approximately. 
and then you've got something else, sami gurang, sami happy, whatever that is. I don't know whether that's um, whether that's the new arak they have here in Bali. Government's given them the okay to go ahead with uh, with some uh, some arak made under license, of course. So. 17% alcohol. But this one is called Ten Kang Ten Tang Sagi. Minimum spirit. Select Bali from Select Bali. So anyway. So that's the menu. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna settle for a a cord and blue, chicken cord and blue. Three dollars fifty Australian, so you can't go wrong there. And I'll have an iced tea with that as well. So I suppose, I don't know whether you get table service here or not, I'll, I better go over and order it and um, they can bring it in to me. So we'll see how we go there. It could be difficult. Ah, well, here comes my meal now. Look at that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So, okay, that's what you get for $3. I'll take this. This is gravy, so I'll put it. I'll just mix that up a little bit, it's a bit lumpy. A few french fries, a little bit of salad. We'll stir this up a little bit. They make gravy like I do. Lumpy. Throw a bit on here. I should have tasted it first to see if it had chilli in it. No, it's nice. Oh, it has got a sting to it. It's got a little bit of a sting to it. Oh, big bit of a sting. <coughs> See, it burns the bottom of your... Uh, better include the drink in this, iced tea. I think a bit. This place has got stainless steel straws, so they're not using plastic straws. Better knock a bit of that gravy off. It's got a bit of a tang to it. These are obviously store bought. Um, Caught in blue is the frozen ones, but I guess you can't expect too much for for three dollars. I say one thing: the chips are nice, crispy. Love them. I'll try and do a comparison video of um, eating cordon bleu here and cordon bleu at this other place that we used to go to. When the place, when Bali was open, Jack and I used to go down there for lunch and uh, I think it was about 60,000, 60, yeah, something like six or seven dollars Australian, but oh, what a meal. You know? So I might do that for my next video and then uh, go back on my diet. Put the side of the plate. I think mean, I could have put a bit more veggies on it and uh, a few more chips. Hey, where are you at? Chicken cord and blur is nowhere as nice as the homemade stuff that they make at this other restaurant. Pretty dry, very little cheese, a little bit of ham in there, a little bit of chicken, but the other place tops it off. Well, let's just sum that up. Um, the meal's not what I expected, but um, as, as I said once before, or a couple of times before, for $3, I don't think you can complain. Um, 
it's not a bad little snack. Iced tea is good, stainless steel straws, service leaves a little bit of the um, desired, but um, oh, pardon me. Amazing is it's how much five. But I came past here about four o'clock one time and it was chocolate block, so places like this up and down it depends, you know. But uh, it's called a meeting place, so different people from the colleges and whatever come and do a little bit of work here. It's got free internet access, so I guess that's good. It's a good thing. Not that I'm worried about it, but overall it's probably probably six or seven out of ten I suppose. So we'll have a look upstairs and see what uh, what's happening up there. Old bloke like me has got to watch what he's doing. Must be somebody up here, she just brought, brought something up here, so have a look. Oh yeah, quite a big area, good dance floor there. Oh, yeah. Jack got a bit more book, he'd be able to dance up here. So there's quite a few tables here. Place for review. That's the supermarket right alongside us there. See if I can pick out the name. They're yeah, popular. Minimart. And uh, here it goes down. That's the main road. Hay and Warook. Goes there and then. Lots of nurseries on the right hand side if you're coming. Or if you're going towards that way. If you're going that way. Alright, so that just about sums it up. So, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you next time on uh, Rubber on the Road Indonesia. Coming live from. Where are we? Bali. Sanua Bali. Okay.